pulsechainbridge.com. Uh, we're going to do a little video today on how to use the Pulse Chain Bridge. And uh, so that, well, that way you can get familiar on, on how that's going to work. Uh, so first of all, in order to run it on testnet, uh, there's a few things that we need to establish here. So first of all, this is account one on my little test MetaMask here. I'm on Ethereum mainnet. You're going to want to go to Pulse Chain Testnet. Uh, if you don't have Pulse Chain Testnet in your MetaMask yet, go ahead and, and visit our uh, blog on the main website, howtopulse.com, <clears throat> and look up uh, how to use the V2 Testnet. That's going to walk you through adding these RPC settings to get Pulse Chain Testnet on your, on your MetaMask account. Okay. And then Robston Test Network, this is the Ethereum Test Network. So if I click on Robston, this is uh, Test ETH. Okay, and in order to use a bridge, uh, you're going to have a gas fee on the side that you start on, and then you're also going to have a gas fee on the site, side that you end on uh, in a claim function. So in this case, we're going to go from the pulse chain test net to the ethereum test net so we need a little bit of test ethereum in order to claim those tokens so you can go to the robston ethereum faucet uh, there's multiple ones on uh, the internet here uh, this is an old address that i played with before so i'm going to copy this address and paste it in here okay i am human uh, motorcycles and scooters. Okay, and then send Robson ETH. Congratulations, you've been added to the queue. Um, <clears throat> uh, let's see. All right. Um, oh, that was trying to do another one there. So we'll go back here. And it says we're in the queue. Sometimes this takes a while for them to drop the ETH to you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and connect a Trezor that I have some test uh, pulse in that I can show you how to get this done. So once you have that test ETH in your Robson network, you're ready to go to the next step here. And that's the Robston network there. We'll go back to Pulse Chain. So I'm on the test net. I've got 10 and a half test pulse in this wallet. And I've got very little <clears throat> in the second address. Okay, and if I go back to Robston, I've got 0.9918 ETH. I've done multiple transactions on this bridge. Um, the ETH fee on the other side is minimal here. So let's get started. I'm going to get back on the Pulse Chain test net. The Pulse Chain bridge is pulseramp.com. And we're going to go ahead and connect MetaMask. I want to connect this one with the 10 test pulse in there. And I'm going to go ahead and connect that now. All right, here's the bridge interface. <clears throat> right now I've got TPLS and I have a balance of 10.532 and so on. And we're going to go from the test net to the ethereum test net and on the other side you're going to get a wrapped pulse that's the p pulse so the p it, uh, represents the wrapped version all right so if i say i want to send uh four of my test pulse there is a 0.1 percent bridge fee and i will receive 3.996 wrapped pulse on the ethereum chain or the test net in this case okay so we're going to go ahead and hit send and hit send again and it wants to do a fee 0.004277 okay we're going to confirm allow and then on my trezor obviously you have to confirm the transactions as you usually would all right <clears throat> 
And this does take a few minutes. Uh, it's not an instantaneous three second block that's gonna you know, be done in, in three, four seconds. This does take about 30 seconds to a minute and a half, depending on the network that you're on and, and uh, what's going on on testnet. So bear with me here, we'll muscle through this together and uh, we'll continue on. All right, so now it wants me to switch to the Robson network. So I'm gonna hit switch and switch again and go ahead and we're gonna go to claim token. So this is where your fee on the Ethereum side comes in. And this is why you need the test Ethereum in the Robston network uh, when you get started. Okay, so there is a gas fee on the, on the secondary side. And we're gonna go ahead and confirm that gas fee again in this wallet on the Trezor. Bring this back up. And in another 20 seconds or so, this claim will be completed. It's a rather simple process. There is a couple steps. It's very similar to like say a Uniswap front end where you put in your pair of what you wanna swap for. Uh, I'll show you that as well here in a moment. We'll go back, um, back and forth here on this bridge a couple times in this video. <clears throat> All right, should be just about done here. There we go. I'll go ahead and close that. So now you see my wrapped pulse. I have 3.996 available, and I can go back to this side here. Uh, let's just say you had some other wrapped assets. As you can see, there's wrapped hex, there's die, there's wrapped. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. We have one inch of a. Right, there's a whole mess of coins that are going to be available on this bridge. All right. So what if we went back and um, we switch networks again back to Pulse Chain? Okay, I'm now back to Pulse Chain Testnet is my primary where I'm coming from, and. I don't have any of these other assets in there at this point. So what I can do, however, is um, we are, let's see, let's connect the wallet to the Uniswap front end. Let's take this same treasure that I'm playing with. And now we have PLS, which would be test, obviously. And I want to swap it for some hex, okay? Let's take uh, five of these test pulse, and we're going to get 5,491.98 um, hex. All right, let's go ahead and hit swap. Okay, let's confirm. Again, on the treasure, confirm the transaction. And before I can even get here, this transaction boom is done all right so let's go back to the bridge okay now i've got 5491 hex on pulse chain test net okay i'm going to select that asset and i'm going to wrap that back to the the ethereum test net so i'm going to take all of it and I'm going to wrap it on the bridge <clears throat> in a contract. And I'm going to receive a wrapped version of the hex on the Robston test network for Ethereum. <coughs> Excuse me. So again, this will take just another, you know, 30, 40 seconds to complete. And we're going to confirm the gas fee. Confirm on the Trezor. And it's gonna ask us to switch networks again so that we can claim these tokens on the Ethereum side. So bear with me again, another 10, 20 seconds here. And we'll get to that switch network side.
All right, we're going to switch over to Robstem. And we're going to go ahead and claim these wrapped hex on the Ethereum testnet. Okay, again, give me another 20 seconds or so for these claim to take place. And then we'll show you the new balance in MetaMask. Just about done here. And I can actually switch over to MetaMask. As you can see, we have this wrapped pulse. We're on the Robston network. I have regular hex that would be on the Ethereum side, and I have this wrapped hex. Now, don't get confused that it says P hex because we've been calling hex on pulse chain P hex for the longest time. This P actually stands for a wrapped version of the hex and we are on the Robston network. So this is gonna be uh, wrapped hex here. And it's still doing a claim here. So this might take another moment. And there we go, it is done. So we'll go back into MetaMask and here we go. I have 5,486 wrapped hex on the Ethereum network that came from Pulse Chain. And of course this is all on testnet. And we have a wrapped pulse on Ethereum here uh, by using the bridge. These are the two transactions that we bridged over today. Okay, if I go back to my pulse chain test net, I am now down to 1.52 test pulse and zero hex because we bridged that hex over to the pulse chain, or excuse me, to the Robston network. Okay, back to Robston. So let's say we want to send that stuff back. Okay, so I have 5,000 wrapped hex. We will go ahead and send it. And it's going to be the same process from Robston back to Pulse Chain. Okay, this does take a minute. And it says. <clears throat> Let me let this process here real quick. All right, click here to begin a new bridge, right? So we can we can do another one here. We'll get this wrapped pulse back into the pulse chain test net. I'm gonna go ahead and go max and send and send and confirm the gas fee. Okay, allow. Use my Trezor. So now I have two transactions going in the bridge simultaneously. As soon as this one populates my options, I can show you the transactions page. Okay, we'll close this. I can go to transactions right up here. And it's telling me right here that I've claimed on the Robston network um, the wrapped hex. So it has not shown the new um, transaction yet because it's still uh, processing there. All right. So if we go back to MetaMask, here we go on the Robston network. I have no wrapped hex, no regular hex, no wrapped pulse, and I have now 0.9682 Ethereum test. I go back to pulse chain. Here is my 5,481 hex returned to my pulse chain test net. And within the next 30 seconds to a minute, we should see the other um, test pulse come back to this wallet here. Of course, we can update. 
So while that's doing that, I'll go back into the Uniswap. I'm going to take my hex, which I have 5,481. I'm going to go back to Pulse. And I would like to confirm that swap there. Confirm. And close. There, that transaction is completed. And we will go right back to the Trezor. And there we go. I have my 10 PLS back. I have zero hex. And I have 10.48 TPLS. I have effectively bridged Pulse and Hex over to Ethereum and back to Pulse. And you can see the transactions now show. Oh, and maybe they're having a little problem with the uh, transaction history there. Um, but we can always go back on that later. But yeah, this is uh, how you use the pulse chain bridge guys i hope you enjoyed this video and it helps you out and uh, we can we can all go and, and use this successfully all right thanks have a great day